people, we're all a holy people. Now they can't story, my people will listen to. So they're not gonna read a suit, not bring a sexy billion. Now people full like eat a street, read a sexy billion. Tell my people eat a read, read a sexy billion. This is just an open a fetty, bring a sexy billion. We want a sexy billion, go back on a bear. We want a sexy billion for people in love at home. We want a sexy billion, see you want to tell me people. That's why it's not a show. I'm fucking Tarako, my Ali, my Ali, my Ali, my Ali. So we are, so we are. gentlemen, boys and girls, men and women, welcome to Attorney Commander J.R. Kapuk McChesney Talk Show. We wake up this morning, January 5th, 2022. I want to know how you are going to spend your January 6th, 2022. On the day that we Remember the failed coup attempt in America. The failed coup attempt by President Donald Trump to destroy our democracy. Tomorrow, we celebrate January 6th. Where were you? What do you think of the celebration of this day? Let's get into my topics for this morning. Today's topics are shaming Liberia, collaborating political parties, CPP, end up in court. Two, talk show host Henry Costa must give us a break. Talking patriotism. Those are my three topics for this morning. Let me take a break and we'll start my topics. Have a good morning. Shaming Liberia. Collaborating political parties, CPP, end up in court. What else can we say about this? This is the ultimate shame that these three parties of educated Liberian men cannot work together. Three parties of Liberian educated men cannot trust each other. Three parties of Liberian educated men are leading Liberian people into confusion, disarray, and pure mess. What can we say about this? 
you know, yesterday when I heard that ALP has sued Ellie Cummings because of this framework document for forgery and all this blah, blah, blah mess. I didn't know what to think at first. I didn't know what to think. I mean, you know, first I said, these people, they, they only, they be, these Liberian men, power crazy. You mean they cannot sit down and talk things over and work together even for four years or six years as a party? You mean they can't do that? You mean George Weir has more ability to bring four parties together and these educated men can't? I know when you look at the CPP, the CDC, the, 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 the George Weir's party, Congress for Democratic Change, when we look at that party, we know that those collaborating parties with him didn't stand a chance on their own. They didn't. So it was better he took the lead and in, his, in their best interest too. So he did that. But with the CPP, it's different. These are equally educated people striving for the same position. And the only way they can come to lead each other is through the voting process, through a primary. There are people electing a winner and all of them working together for four or six years together under this collaboration. But we come to see that these people are so impatient. They are so power crazy. They are so untrustworthy that they can't even work together. They can't even work together. And it's so sad that Joseph Walker is there with him for peace sake business. And this is the same thing our native people have killed our country with. That's damn for peace sake business. Oh, let it be for peace sake. Let no, no. Everything can't be for peace sake. Sometimes we got to take position. We got to take sides. We got to stand up. And this is where I stand aside from Borka, Joseph Borka, because he wanted to work for peace sake people from the old era. And we cannot continue to build our country on this for peace sake mess. We got to have leaders. We got to have people who will make decisions, hard decisions, and stand by them. Now here we come again. Educated people can work together. We knew this collaboration would eventually fall. But we didn't intend for people to take each other to court on frivolous bullshit. Now we're going to court. We're going to bring the whole nation to this clown show. What will it benefit us? What will they benefit Liberians who want to see positive change in our country? What will it benefit us? It ain't benefiting us nothing because right there you know George Weah has already won the game. Because if the main major force against George Weah that we are depending on to provide good leadership for our country is the very force that is showing incompetency, that is showing discombobulation, that is showing distrust, dishonesty to each other. How can we depend on these people? We can't. We can't. So we end up in the same situation again. We are a leaderless nation. Led by some leaders. Then we wonder why. Why the situation in our country like this? Why are our people suffering? 
why they can't eat, why there's the, the, the sickness coming up, why there's stealing, massive stealing going on, why this, why that. We keep wanting all these things, and the answer is right before us. We have no leaders. We have no leaders, and we have no leaders. It's a serious matter for our country. Because here we are taking one step forward and two steps backward. One step forward, two steps backward. So what will this case be? You sue Ella Cummins. You think Ella Cummins will go to jail? You think Ella Cummins will lose? I won't see the judge that will put Ella Cummins in jail. I won't see the judge that got balls enough to put Ella Cummins in jail for that foolish bullshit Ben and I you are then charging him with. And it's just a shame, a charade, a, a clown show in our country. It's a clown show. You know, we have no hope. Yet our only hope to go against these slum people, against these criminals, against these warlords and bamboozled uh, uh, clowns of Ellen Johnson Sellif and getting rid of them and setting our country on the right course. Here we are, and the very people we're depending on acting like clowns. The very people we're depending on acting like fools. The very people we're depending on do know whether they are going or coming. So here we are again. They're going to make us shame all over again. Make us shame. But then now you then can't stop this thing, man. Charles Taylor then made us shame. They, they still they, they, they all the stealing in Liberia. It wasn't enough. They left Liberia, went to Sierra Leone. The British people had to go chase them out of Sierra Leone. Now they come fighting to free themselves from sanction list, sanction list, and they're bringing us back into this mess again. But our people don't want change. Our people want the same leadership. There is no way that the same people will be leading us from Charles Taylor Town, from 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 from, from, from uh, and uh, and Torba Town, from from Sawyer Town, and we got the same people leading us. Something wrong with the Liberian people. Something wrong with the Liberian people. I listened to Ben and I here this morning talking and praising. Emmanuel Shaw and how he's so smart. And these are the people that robbed us. That robbed us of everything we got. They used that smartness to take from us for themselves and lead us. And we're still using these people. And that the people Ben and I you and praising because they have nobody else. They have nobody else. Go on the castle show and listen to Ben and I you and praise Emmanuel Shaw. This is the man that been robbing our country and all these dumb, useless people want to lead our country like Ben and I, you and them, looking up to Emmanuel Shaw. We wonder and amazement, even amid all the stealing and corruption we're claiming. What hope is there for our country? What hope is there for our country? That's why they can't go nowhere. So we see now why they can't go nowhere. They're just a bunch of crook, crooks praising each other, loving each other, stealing from each other, stealing from our nation, stealing from every shit. Just a bunch of crooks. And all of them need to go to jail. All of them need to go to jail so they can sit in jail and, and, and marvel at each other. Oh, Emmanuel, you are so cool. You did so cool. You, did, you brought us here. All of us sitting here together in jail now. Oh, yeah. We need to put them in jail. That's where all those damn criminals need to go. But until my people open our eyes and see the truth to what I'm telling you and stop following people and follow principles and standards and laws. Our country would be bamboozled and our people would be misled consistently because there will all be a mess. 
that will always be a mess. Our educated people can't work together because their intentions are not to build Liberia. Their intentions are to build themselves, to see their own mission and goals persist over that of the Liberia people. Let me take a break. I will start my second lesson. Henry Costa must give us a break. You know, between the Chucky Taylor and his fire interview this morning, Ben and I, you were talking about his side or everything that happened. We don't know where Costa's standing. We don't know where Costa's standing. What's his intention for Liberia? To free all these criminals and bring them back to Liberia? Because you're talking about us forgiving Charles and Chucky Taylor, and he's a focal point of your show. Then you're not bringing Ben and I, you, to come and explain to us his side of all the criminality they have done in Liberia to clear himself. We ain't going to buy it. We're not buying the Henry Costa. We're going to do our own investigation. You're not coming into our government to free these criminals, whether they're your power or not. You're not coming to free these criminals and bring them back into our society to recycle, to continue the process of recycling the rogues and the criminals and the murderers. It's got to cease and desist. We need a better leadership in our country. Our people need to live better lives. Our people, young children, need to have a sense of true leadership and direction. And let's stop the recycling of the useless damn ass criminals. It's time enough, man. We're tired. It's enough. And we can't let people that cast us use their show to promote criminals in Liberia who have stolen from us and enrich themselves with our wealth, then they won't come and act as the innocent of the law. Give me a break. So, Casa and your pa, Ben and I, Yuri, and your cousin, and Chucky Taylor, and all your family members you want to try and save by deceiving us, it ain't gonna happen. We will investigate Ben and I, Yuri's behavior in Liberia. We will do our own investigation and research. And we will prosecute them to the extent of the law. That my cousin, but it still is enough. The destruction of my country and creation of mess in our society is enough. And we got to weed these people, these corrupt, evil criminals out of our society. Enough is enough. I don't care what the tip was for. My country needs to breathe a breath of fresh air, a breath of justice, loyalty, honesty, trustworthiness, and true leadership. The time for the criminals leading Liberia is over. And I don't give a damn whether it's been in IUA, my cousin or not. I will flog him and put him in jail. So help me God. Anoint me. Jesus Christ, let me do it. I'm anointed. And the power within me is greater than the power within the world. And I ain't scared of you, bitches. I ain't scared of you. You give me the chance, I will flog you and put you in jail after prosecuting you. Because that's the way to straighten up my country. The term for the rogues and murderers and criminals and conspirators. It's over. We want our country back. Let me take a break and I'll start my last topic for the day.
talking patriotism. Talking patriotism. What does it mean to love your country wholeheartedly as you love yourself? What does it mean to have that big heart that your love encompasses this whole nation and these people? You encompass every tribe and village and town. What does it mean? It's a terrible, terrible strong feeling called patriotism. People die for patriotism. People will not hesitate to give their lives for their country because of patriotism. Because of their love and zeal and, and, and desire to see their country survive and grow and prosper and succeed. Talking patriotism. What is patriotism? It's a love you can't explain. It's so deep. You can't understand that people die. People have coup d'etats and wars to free their country from evil people, from corrupt people, from unconstitutional leadership. Because we believe in things. We believe in things that are long lasting. That have built our nation, that have built our people, ideals and principles of true governance and true leadership and true direction based on the will of the people. The will of the people. Not my will or your will, the will of the people. And that's what we stand on. My class is done. I loot continue talking, patriotism, standing for Liberia and what you believe in based on our constitutional laws for our great nation. Have a good day, my people. See you tomorrow, January 6, 2022. Take heed and govern yourselves accordingly.